have you ever gotten into your cars and after driving for a while, when you finally reach your destination, you wonder, how did I get here? <laughs> Time is a very flexible concept. Of course, in our physical lives, we really cannot change time, not yet. But in our creative minds, we can do whatever we want with it. My fascination with time, especially time and storytelling, has to do with a little childhood obsession that I had with any kind of story or cartoon that in a way tried to control time. For example, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. I personally love that story because as a child, I used to have a very strict curfew. So in my biased version of the story, to me, the most important thing is that you get into the wardrobe, right? And then you make a lot of alternative, cool, mythological friends. And you hang out with them for as long as you want to, a year, five. And then you remember that you have parents and they're probably freaking out. So you go back just to discover that they didn't even notice that you had gone because it only happened a minute ago. So you learn that time indeed is a very relative concept. Another decisive moment of my childhood was the moment that I found out about the magic of time in cartoons. For example, picture Willy the Coyote chasing his eternal enemy, the Roadrunner. And then all of a sudden, oh, there he is, standing at the edge of a cliff. Uh -huh. So naturally, he jumps after him, and we all know how this goes, right? <laughs> but let me ask you, does he fall off the cliff immediately? Ah, uh -huh. he does not, because in order to fall off the cliff, he first needs to acknowledge he's going to fall. So there is a moment of time suspension. He looks down the cliff, then he looks back at the camera, and then he falls. Well, unfortunately, we also learn very quickly that our lives are contained in between two points, point A, our birth, and point B, our death. And they say that the shortest distance between two points is always a line. So according to this, our, li our lives should have a linear structure, right? However, interestingly, because of our current culture is becoming more, more visual and increasingly more knowledgeable than in past generations, recently we have experienced an abundance of TV shows and movies that try to challenge our concept of time linearity, starting with movies such as Back to the Future, Terminator, and ending up in more recent examples like that episode in Game of Thrones that probably most people know, in which the name of one character creates a whole time loop. Or another show, Stranger Things. Stranger Things is a very curious show because its target audience, or at least the main one, is my generation. So when we watch a show, we're perfectly capable very quickly of creating a patchwork of visual and musical references that connect our present lives to our past experiences. However, any time we watch any of these movies or TV shows, we immediately think first of the complex, sophisticated scientific theory beyond that idea. We never think about creativity, art, and even less, literature, right? But you know what? All of the examples that I mentioned before are examples of narrative techniques that we use in the world of the arts and in literature. In our society, we have been trained to give more relevance to science, to analytical thinking. And instead, we devalue the power of other methods of thinking or knowledge, such as holistic thinking or creativity, intuition. But let me tell you something. There is no innovation without a certain degree of creativity and of intuition. Actually, Einstein himself declared that he had developed his whole theory of time and space relativity based on intuition. And another great scientist of our time, Stephen Hawking, when delivering a public speech about the concept of time relativity, he used a piece of literature, a limerick. There was a young lady of white who traveled much faster than light, she departed one day, in a relative way, and arrived on the previous night. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Well, so this is my suggestion for you today. It really is about time that we give the same amount of recognition and value to all forms of human experience, knowledge, and thinking, be it creative, scientific, or intuitive. Because the most important thing is that we develop our full potential. You don't want to drive your life on autopilot, because in between point A and point B, that is your life. And it is only as linear as you want to make it. Thank you very much. <laughs>